Windows 10 laptop. The Ease of Access Center is the place on a Windows PC or laptop where you can modify the accessibility settings in order to make your computer easier to see, to hear and to use. For this video I'm going to be demonstrating the Ease of Access Center on a laptop running Windows 10. But the Ease of Access Center was part of Windows 8 as well and I've created a video about that and you can find the link below this video. The Ease of Access Center is a place to go for people who have a wide range of disabilities in order to modify how their computer works. My specific concern in this video is those settings that make a computer easier to use for people who have a visual impairment. To open the Ease of Access Center we press the Windows key and the U key. So let us look at each of these elements in the center in turn, starting with the common tools. Magnifier, narrator, on-screen keyboard and high contrast. Magnifier is a feature that makes the whole of the screen or parts of it bigger. To start it, you press the Windows key and the plus key. A magnifying glass appears on your screen like this and that shows that we've started the magnifier. Now you can make things bigger by pressing the Windows key and the plus key. And you can see there from my mouse cursor, from my mouse pointer, that I'm magnifying, I'm zooming in, making things bigger. And you make things smaller by pressing the Windows key and the minus key repeatedly. Once you've set the ideal magnification level for yourself, then you have a choice between using the magnifier in one of three modes. Full screen, which we have it on now. Lens or docked mode. In full screen mode, the whole of the desktop is magnified. And to select the full screen mode, we press the control and the alt key and the F key together. And the center, the focus of the magnification is where the mouse pointer is. So you can see as I move my mouse pointer around, then the magnification moves with it. To select the lens mode, we press the control key, the alt key and the L key together. A rectangular lens appears on the screen. Anything within the lens is magnified and the lens follows your mouse pointer. So here we go, you can see there's a rectangular magnification and as I move it around anything that the rectangle hovers over is magnified. To select the dot mode we press the control and the alt and the D keys together. A rectangular strip appears at the top of your screen so here you can see it up here, which is stationary and it magnifies the area around your mouse pointer. And there you have it. That's my quick tour of Windows Magnifier. Now, to come out of Windows Magnifier, we press the Windows key and the escape key. 
as magnifiers go, this one, which is built into Windows, is pretty limited and poor. It compares very badly to the magnification tool that is built into Apple Macs. Other better magnifiers are available. Some are free to download, some are very sophisticated and cost lots of money. So in my next part of the tour of the Ease of Access Center, I will give you an overview of Narrator, the built-in screen, screen reader in Windows. So let's start the, let's get the Ease of Access Center open with our Windows key and the U. Now a screen reader is a voice that informs you what is happening on screen. It is predominantly used by people with a visual impairment. To open the voice, uh, the screen reader, which is called Narrator, we press the Windows key and the Enter key. Ease of Access Center Window, Control Panel Home, Link. And you will hear a voice. And I don't know if that voice is going to come out on this recording because I've got a headset on. Now this, work, this voice works together with, with a variety of shortcut keys in order to help you to control your computer and know what is going on. You can access a list of the shortcut keys by pressing the caps lock key and the F1 key t together when you when you have narrator on Caps lock. search all commands window search box editing stop reading control do primary action now there are about 70 shortcut keys that help you control your computer by the voice and that help you control your computer and have a voice to guide you and you can see that I've got some of those shortcut keys on the screen now. The shortcut keys cover three main areas. Basic commands, navigation commands, and text and table commands. Tooltip, control panel. And you can control at the bottom of this box of all of the shortcut keys there is a box labeled scoping and in here you can choose which ones of those selected all command commands that you want Select, up you've got selected, basic commands basic commands navigation selected commands selected and text and table commands so let's get basic commands up search basic commands window search basic commands are shortcut keys that allow you to control the voice for instance to to stop narrator reading we just press the control key And there you've got it there. To increase the speaking rate of narrator, we press the caps lock and the plus key. Which is this command here. You can see it highlighted in blue on your screen. And to increase the volume of narrator, we press the caps lock and the page up key and you can see that highlighted in blue on your screen. Navigation commands are shortcut keys that enable a user to move the focus of a narrator around the screen. And let's go down to the scoping box, get the search navigation Navigation Do primary up. action. Cap
For instance, to move to the next item we press the caps lock key and the right arrow key, which is highlighted in blue on your screen. To move to a linked item, we press the caps lock key and the insert key. which is there, highlighted in blue on your screen. And as I've just said, you can access the full list of navigation commands by pressing the caps lock key and the F1 key, and then in the scoping drop-down menu, select navigation commands. Text and table commands are shortcut keys that enable a user to use narrator to read text and tables. For instance, to read a document, we press the caps lock key and the H key. To read a page, we press the caps lock key and the control key and the U key together. To read the current row in a table, we would press the caps lock key and the F8 key. You can access the full list of text and table commands by pressing the caps lock key and the F1 key and then in the scoping drop down menu select control panel home link scoping disabled start narrator button alt plus n F1 tooltip caps lock search all commands window sorry there was a bit of a error there select Search text and table. Com Search list. So you can access the full list of text and table commands by pressing the caps lock key and the F1 key, and then in the scoping drop down menu, you select the text and table commands, and there they are in front of you. To exit narrator, we would press the caps lock key and the escape key. Caps, exiting narrator. And there you have it, my quick tour of Windows Narrator. As screen readers go, this one, which is built into Windows, is pretty limited and poor. It compares very badly to the screen reader that is built into Apple Macs. Other, better screen readers are available. Some are free to download, some are very sophisticated and cost lots of money. Next on my tour, I will be looking at the high contrast feature. These are settings that use contrasting colours in order to make the screen easier to see. Before I turn on the high contrast setting, I want to show you the different colour schemes that are available. To do this, we click on the Setup High Contrast and then near the top of the next page, we select Choose a High Contrast Theme. There are four standard high contrast colour schemes in Windows 10 and you can see them in the high contrast theme section on this page. Three of them use different colours on a black background. Blue and yellow, light blue, light blue and green and white and purple. Whilst the fourth is black on a white background. So this is what they look like on the desktop, in the web browser and in Word. Firstly, the blue and yellow on black theme. So this is your desktop. This is in your browser. and this is what it looks like in Word. Next, let's go to the light blue and green on black scheme.
So this is what it looks like on your desktop. This is what it looks like in your browser. And that's what it looks like in Word. Next, we'll go to the light blue and green on black theme. Sorry, next we'll do the white purple on black theme. So this is what your desktop looks like. Let's just refresh this. This is what your browser looks like. And this is what Word looks like. And finally, let's go to the black on white theme. So here we go, this is a bit of a difference. This is your desktop. Just refresh this. This is your browser. And this is your Word document. Once you have chosen your favorite color setting from all of these, make sure you select it. So I'm going to leave it on the high contrast white. That means when you turn on high contrast it displays your selected color scheme. So let's just demonstrate that. So I've turned the high contrast scheme off and now when I turn it on There we go, it goes immediately to black and to white. And sorry, to turn on the high contrast key, the shortcut key, sorry, to, to turn on the high contrast scheme, the shortcut keys are the left shift key, the left alt key, and the print screen the print screen key all pressed down together. And there you go, that is my quick tour of the high contrast mode and also that's the end of my video demonstrating the ease of access center. Thank you for watching. If you would like to leave a comment to join the discussion or ask me a question then do so below. Do you use other magnifiers or screen readers? If so, which ones? And what are your favourite co colour combinations for using high contrast? Please let me know.